Hey guys, this is Ring from the Ring. Welcome back to my channel. This channel, if you're new here, you just found a channel. It's all about a lot of good food, a lot of traveling, and even more motorcycles than whatever else you'd find on this channel. And today you could see 2023 Panicali V2 into the Bayless Special Edition. It's not limited, but it's quite special because it looks quite good compared to or your ordinary red or just black but of course any Panigale V2 V4 they all look good no matter what suit they put on they're always really good looking so this is one of those bikes where it's as fast even just parked so I'm glad I made that light too because otherwise you gotta stop and go but anyways today I come out here and talk to you about my new delivered bike just about what two days ago I think I pretty much have written all the V4, V4 S's, the V4 in a uh, Diablo, the V4 in a Multistrada um, the only thing I actually never written was the new V4R and I've written if you've seen my Super Legeras, um 1199 I didn't make any video on but I made one on uh, 1299 right the one with shiny paint but anyhow, back to this bike. This bike is very special to me because, well, I've always been looking for the tricolor, like, you know, the late 1299 Special Alleys or the Final Edition. I don't even remember what the tricolor was named. I just know that it's got three colors. And this one right here also has got three colors. And that's why I think it's very special to me. Most of you guys who ride sports bikes, first thing you do is you put pipes on it like the guy who just passed me across the road you know that's gonna cost you because most of us ordinary guys probably can switch out their own exhaust system because most of them nowadays requires also another tune which I definitely cannot do because I ain't got no computer do that all this time look at that color man that color wow look at that looks nice eh? looks sharp in the summer that's sick nice Look at that. Now, as I was saying, every time you get a bike, a sports bike, you put a pipe on it. Almost same as a Harley. You get a Harley, you put a pipe on it. That's what you do. And you know what, guys? When I got this bike, I already have a pipe put on it, so I can't put it right on. If I put another one on, it's probably going to be worse than this one. This is the one that is offered by Ducati themselves. This is a crop pitch full system with the heat shield that states it's Acra. This exhaust is really loud. I mean, maybe not to some of you guys with straight pipes or something. But to me, if you've seen my YouTube video on my recently acquired CBR 1000 Triple R, well, that one is stock, okay? I didn't put a pipe on it because I think it may be a project for later on, like a full tune and a tuner. Now, that's what I'm thinking at this moment. But never know, next video, you might see me with a new pipe on the CBR as well. But this one has already got the pipes on it and it's just wonderful. You know why? Because I got this under MSRP and it only had one, one, one kilometers on it. And that was a good deal because one, one, one means it's like a new bike. The guy who owned it just bought it. And I think supposedly he just wasn't prepped to ride something like this for his condition. So he decided to let this go and I'm glad he did because he took a brand new bike and so I got it on discount. Plus, as soon as he got it, he already put a pipe on it, the full Acra system that here with insulation, I pretty much calculated it to over $10,000 without tax. So the, <laughs> the pipe's new, the bike's new, but I got all that thrown in for under MSRP so I don't know I'd say that's a pretty dang good deal I haven't had
had the time to actually dabble with these uh, plus and minuses in here in the front and the back but so far my weight maybe um, it's quite it's pretty bumpy I mean the roads bumpy so otherwise I don't know but so far it rides well now it's absolutely different than my CBR 1000 triple R as of course you know the engine config is different the V2 V twin and the inline 4 it's absolutely different and you know it should be but it just really gives me a sense of how one is supposed to feel like especially when this is not tuned to the way that the inline 4 is tuned that thing is super uber smooth that is like super crazy smooth whereas this absolutely not <laughs> But of course, you get used to bikes. You get used to bikes that you ride a lot. The first video I did was my first ride on that CBR Triple R. And I don't know, you could probably tell that I was already like linked with it. Pretty much. I mean, I was, I was one with the bike. Now, I know the V2s are not supposed to feel the same and they don't feel the same, obviously. But this bike gets hot, unlike my CBR. <laughs> this thing got hot like after a minute, not even. But of course, the pipe here is crazier. I mean, after all, it's the aftermarket pipe, right? So. so far as I said it's not as smooth it's got more character than your Honda now I'm not saying the Honda is soulless now if I have to put soulless next to a bike I'm always gonna put it against German machines the BMW M's even S's I mean they do they're they're precise I somehow really do truly don't feel that they've got a soul I mean if a bike's got a soul <laughs> if they can have souls <laughs> So this is just my initial ride pretty much we we'll to talk to you about later on about this bike but it's so far I mean at least it looks really really good and sounds really really mean anyways thanks for watching the video ride if you like my video remember to comment like I share if you like my content is good to consider subscribe to my channel later